What's up guys, today's video is going to basically just be a fish catching montage and it's from a trip that I took in October 2023, pretty much one of my last trips of the season last year with my buddy Kyo. Now Kyo is from Japan, this is the first time we fished together and I didn't really do a very good job of talking to the camera, doing like the vlog style fishing content because I just wanted to soak in the trip. I wanted to learn as much as I could from Keo, learn some of his tricks, some of the things that he does that makes him successful, which you guys are gonna see in this video. And it's really just a bunch of fish catches, but I wanted to put it together because it's a really cool day. We had a bunch of fish catches that were back to back to back to back to back. I think at one point we caught five or six fish literally non-stop every single cast and we had these massive schools of fish figured out in deep water. Now, I would encourage you guys, don't just kind of skip through the video. Slow down and watch how we're fishing some of these baits. Slow down and watch how I'm fishing a blade. Kind of dead stick in that blade and get some bites. Pay attention to how we're fishing that swim bait. Super slow crawling it and then stopping it when we hit a boulder to hold that bait on the back side of the rock and wait for that fish to eat it. There's some really cool things you guys can learn because it is more raw and unrefined video content. I didn't cut it into a bunch of pieces, so there's a lot you guys can learn. Also listen to some of the discussions that we're having because this was deep water fishing for cold water smallmouth. We're catching these fish around these rock to sand transitions, especially during the winter time when that water gets cold. And I believe in this video, it was like mid 40 degrees or low 40 degree range. These fish were keying in on the sand spots with the boulders around them. And the reason they get on that sand is because it provides them warmth. That sand is actually gonna hold heat better than the rock but then they can also use it as an ambush point as the bait comes by. So these fish were keyed in really heavily on bait fish. They smelled really strongly of a fishy scent and what they were keying in on was a white bait crawled slowly on the bottom. And we figured that out pretty early on, caught a bunch of fish, had an awesome day, but I just wanted to put this together not only for you to check out, but also as like a memory for me and Keo to go and watch back on because it was really an incredible day. Caught a bunch of big fish, caught a ton of numbers, caught them on a swim bait, caught them on a blade bait, and learned a couple tricks that you guys are going to see if you pay attention in this video that are going to change the way that a fish going forward, especially with that small swimmer. And in this video, I was fishing a smelt head with a 285 Beast Coast Slow Flow. There's some really cool things you can do. Pay attention to the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Come here, baby. Uh, there, you. first one, first one. Yeah, first one. Where was that? Where, what good. cast? Uh, I just cast it. Uh, okay. Not directly. Nice. That's not head. Smell head. Oh. That's all we need, though, is a start. We need to figure yeah. out what's going on. I'm wondering if this blade, they want something going. I'm wondering, cause... No, that was a, that was a rock. I'm wondering if they don't... want something moving, though. Very funny. Yeah, that's fish for sure. That one's actually fish. <laughs> There you go. All right. Thank you. Nice catch. Thank you, thank you. Did the fish bite right after? Uh, right after I came off that rock. Yeah, that, that happens a lot. It's super full too. Right. And he smells really fishy. <laughs> Thanks. He was like right here too. He was not very far. Right, yeah. It's it's more successful uh, on Lake Biwa. So, oh, I missed one. Dude, they're like... <laughs> oh, I missed one again. <laughs> they're right here. Yeah. Oh, can I, can I just... There you go. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> they must be small or something. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can...
Yeah, I feel like a lot better on. That is a lot better on. Came off. That's okay. Dude, they're right below the <laughs> Oh. Throw right down there. There's a whole school of them, PO, and they're all big. Okay. Whew. They're all right below the boat. They're right below the boat. So if you can just drop it right down, they're right there. Oh, nice. That's a really nice one. That's a really nice one. Bye. Dude, so like, I cast my bait out, and as my bait was falling, like, I happened to be on it with live scope, and I looked over, and there were like four of them. <sighs> and I they got bit before I went and hit bottom. And then, uh, they just kept fighting over it. I have one located on the back side of a boulder. Another good one. He barely got it too. Thanks, buddy. Okay, the bite's gonna get a lot better. I was not paying attention, but I don't think it's a bass. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Good job, thank you, Tia. He smoked it. That was like my first real, like, he bit it bite of the day. He hit it so hard though, I didn't think it was a bass, to be honest. You're right in an area, There's looks like there's a bunch of fish. Go. <laughs> I didn't notice this fight. <laughs> that I don't know what it is over there, but there's like a. It looks like there were just a little clump of fish, or like a bottom transition with some fish sitting on it. Yeah, I I think the um, fish bit the lure. In this clip right here, I want to show you guys what we're actually keying in on. As you guys can see on the side imaging, there's a bunch of big boulder rock mixed in with like a small gravel edge, and then you have a big sand spot. And where these fish are keying in on is that sand edge. They're sitting in that sand, using that location to really ambush bait 
as it pushes by. This was the key for us this day, and it was a really small location where a bunch of these fish were set up. And using our side imaging as well as forward-facing sonar, we were able to really dial in where these fish were sitting to be able to catch them over and over and over again. So it was a ton of fun. I think there's a few with it. Oh, that's oh, that's a lot better than I expected it to be. one yeah that's a really oh. good one i didn't even feel him to be honest i went to lift up on my blade and he was just there i just all it is is a sand spot over there oh really yeah thank you huh uh it's a that uh giant one uh, the belly was very fat oh i know all these fish, dude, are just incredibly fat right now. I don't even know if... Oops, sorry. I don't honestly know if my blade even hit bottom. Just like somewhere out there. No, no, you're good. Dude, there's a lot of fish. <laughs> you know, you're good. You're good fish. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of fish out there. Oh, nice one. Dude, that's awesome. Look how fat they are, too. <laughs> Dude, these fish are so fat and healthy. It's wild. You got one? Uh, no. We doubled again. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. You gotta get a picture with our doubles. Yep. Oh, that's a good. I, I think this. Yeah, is that's your biggest, biggest one, one of the day. That's anyone's biggest one of the day. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. Yeah, let me get a picture with you. With yours. Dude, that's a that's a nice one. Thank you. Good work. <laughs> that's a four pounder. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think I think I had two or three miss mine to be honest with you uh -huh. before that one got it. All it is is a sand spot. Yeah, my my fish often miss uh, several times and then finally caught it. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh wow, dude! There's so many fish here. Watch, look at my rod. Oh. I got one right now. Playing with it. That fish missed it? Yeah, he's got it now. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's so many. Oh, do you have it? <laughs> That's okay, I got it. You just catch one. <laughs> Keo's like, okay. <laughs> Okay, you're a dink. Jump up, jump off. Let me cast back out there and catch your brother. <sighs> White's the deal. 
Thanks, buddy. What we're doing is throwing these blade baits and swim baits, and Keo's got a. Uh, no, it's not. Oh. We'll go get it. But we're throwing these blade baits and swim baits on this sand to rock transition, and there's a big school of fish here just hanging out. Yo, that one ate it before it hit bottom, dude. <laughs> yeah, the Keo throw out there. There's so many. Wow. Look at the graph. Look at the graph. Look at the graph. There's like 10 with it. <laughs> Mine's up here dancing on top. It's just dark. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, look how he ate that blade. That's why they're so fat. Because they're eating the blade literally down to their gullet. <laughs> My fish didn't even have a hook at him. He just ate it so deep that he can't get the blade out of his mouth. Thanks, bud. It's amazing. Go! <laughs> oh! You're good, you're right. You're good. Yes, oh, dude! <laughs> giant one. <laughs> that is a giant oh. one. Thank you so much. Oh, look how fat. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I, I didn't notice that because it, it swims up uh upward. Yeah, he came right to us. Oh, dude, All that's right, awesome. Here, want to get a weight? Mom, here, I can take a picture of that bait in his mouth. Ah, uh, it's okay. Yeah, Thank for you. sure. Hold on, that's a great picture right there. That's a great picture. Good, good work, Keo. <laughs> I knew, I knew we just had to figure out. <laughs> we just had to figure out exactly where they were. It's another really big one. <laughs> oh, you're good, you're good. Okay. Ready? He's doing that spiral thing. Here you go. Come on, baby. There. Good job. Dude, the fatness of these yeah, fish. It's a really nice one. Go. <laughs> You might be on your own for that one. The fatness of these fish, the tiny mouth and enormous bellies. They are just absolutely gorging themselves. <laughs> Thanks, bud. That's a good one. Good one? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, finally. <laughs> oh, thank goodness I have mine. Oh! 
haven't lost swim bait too, so I don't have to worry so much. Yes! Yes! <laughs> First fish oh, on, the, a... on the smelt head, dude. Yeah. That's uh... a nice one. Oh. Oh. I, I, I'm glad nice, nice, nice. Your trick definitely worked, Keo. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's finally, a, we caught. That's a heavy fish. Good work, dude. <laughs> finally. Oh. Oh. That took a while because yeah. I had been fishing it where I would stop my retrieve and let it get back to bottom. That one I just kept it going. That, oh, <laughs> that was great. There you go. Come here, sir. Right. Hey. hey! Another one. So they start. Oh, thank goodness, right? I'm so glad they're biting again. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that there's at least a couple of fish that will bite again. Yeah, yeah. That might be a good one. Oh, nice one. Thank you. That is how you know he wanted it. <laughs> you got one? Oh. This is the spot we got into that flurry earlier. There's something about this spot that these fish want to eat. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Oh, you suckers. Eat my damn swim bait. <laughs> Oh wow. Whoa. That's a fat one. Oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> Look how fat. It's just ridiculous. Oh, That's okay. Keep fishing. You got one? Yeah. <laughs> Big one? Uh, it's a big one. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, cute. Oh no. You're okay, you're okay, I got you. Uh, where are you at, Bass? Oh, Great, thank you. dude! Oh, it's a really I got, nice one. That's a really Did nice one. Did you release one. the fish? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm getting played with too. Let me know when you're ready. I'll take your picture. Oh, oh. <gasps> we found them. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's okay, he's small. <laughs> Thanks, bud. We get in these little spurts where there's like a bunch of fish that want to eat. I switched up from that 
blade bait to this little Nashine smelt head. This is a 5.7 and then a Beast Coast 285 slow flow. And that's what I've caught those last handful of fish on. But the biggest deal was just being able to get something that stayed down or close to bottom. And with that single hook, I don't hook them as deep and can get them unhooked and start catching them more quickly. A lot of times with those trebles on that blade, you'd hook those fish really deep and you'd have to fish it out of their mouth. But with this, I can unhook and get back in there. Keep this fish firing. Chris jumped right over there with the giant <laughs> one. Uh, I don't know whether that... Yeah. Yeah, that's a fish. Yeah, dude. Wow. Thank you. Good work. Yeah. It's so fat. Good work. <laughs> when you first set the hook, that thing didn't move at all. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had a ton of fun making it. It's just so many fish catches. It's just like back to back to back. Big fish. It um, so much fun. What an incredible day. And I learned some really cool tricks from Keo that I'm going to be talking about in future videos. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already. If you want to learn some more tip style videos, click this video right here. I think you guys would really enjoy it. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And it'll let you know when I post more videos just like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of Ted Lines. God bless. Pursue your passion.